Loading, loading, strike with the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling Pushing on, keep rolling, rolling Little when the listen, but I told him, told him One more time, your favourite MC's bronze or silver These raps here are golden, golden Cards on the table, there's no folders Spit bars at the club, zoning, zoning TikTok come to London, get ripped off Man get pissed off when I start lift off Sweet like flavours, cookie and biscuit Fronty, yeah, the bars I get ripped off Picked up myself, yo, every time I tripped up Little Teddy told it to be wrong Me and my D's do get with a mix up Full circle, not everybody linked up That's irrelevant, maybe like an elephant Keep your heart, but you know that it's elegant Get mad, but always benevolent Always moving up, just leveling Constantly telling and rhyming, bridging Cycle through these sheets, I'm pedaling Hibernating and boom, she's back again Oh, cause a little fire on the track again Turn the music up, vibe like an icon Icon, icon, yeah, if you want buff We can go psycho, psycho, psycho Head to head, bar to bar, turn the mic on Mic on, mic on Turn the music up, vibe like an icon Icon, icon Loading, loading, strike with the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling Pushing on, keep rolling, rolling Little when the listen, but I told him, told him One more time, your favourite MC's bronze or silver These raps here are golden, golden Cards on the table, there's no folders Spit bars at the club, zoning, zoning TikTok come to London, get ripped off Man get pissed off when I start lift off Sweet like flavours, cookie and biscuit Fronty, yeah, the bars I get ripped off Picked up my soft, yo, every time I tripped up Little Teddy told it to be wrong Me and my G's do get with a mix up Full circle, not everybody linked up That's irrelevant, maybe like an elephant Keep your heart, but you know that it's elegant Get mad, but always benevolent Always moving up, just leveling Constantly telling and rhyming, bridging Cycle through these sheets, I'm pedaling Hibernating and boom, she's back again Oh, cause a little fire on the track again Turn the music up, vibe like an icon Icon, icon, yeah, if you want buff We can go psycho, psycho, psycho Head to head, bar to bar, turn the mic on Mic on, mic on Turn the music up, vibe like an icon Icon, icon Loading, loading, strike with the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling Pushing on, keep rolling, rolling Little when the listen, but I told him, told him One more time, your favourite MC's bronze or silver These raps here are golden, golden Cards on the table, there's no folders Spit bars at the club, zoning, zoning TikTok come to London, get ripped off Man get pissed off when I start lift off Sweet like flavours, cookie and biscuit Fronty, yeah, the bars I get ripped off Picked up my soft, yo, every time I tripped up Little Teddy told it to be wrong Me and my G's do get with a mix up Full circle, not everybody linked up That's irrelevant, maybe like an elephant Keep your heart, but you know that it's elegant Get mad, but always benevolent Always moving up, just leveling Constantly telling and rhyming, bridging Cycle through these sheets, I'm pedaling Hibernating and boom, she's back again Oh, cause a little fire on the track again Turn the music up, vibe like an icon Icon, icon, yeah, if you want buff We can go psycho, psycho, psycho Head to head, bar to bar, turn the mic on Mic on, mic on Turn the music up, vibe like an icon Icon, icon Yo, yo, yo. <clears throat> My bad. I was muted. What's going on, everybody? Appreciate y'all for joining us over here at the Chop Shop live stream. How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Good to be back with my CSGs. CMB. CMB. Y'all know. Man, we all we got. We all we got, baby. We all we got. Making a push for the play-in. Making a push for the play-in good to see it i was starting to <laughs> kind of get down about the season but look we coming we're making a push i think it's happening a little bit later than what i expected thought about mid-february we'll be making this push but better late than never 
better late than never. We, what, three games behind, three games behind Golden State. The Golden State played the Los Angeles Lakers tonight, and I know we all Los Angeles Lakers fans tonight, right? <laughs> I know, I know, it's kind of sacrilegious, but we got to we gotta hope and win that they, uh, hope and pray that they win tonight against the Warriors. I kind of feel bad having to <laughs> push for the Lakers, but we need the Lakers to win, bro. We need the Lakers to win. Oh, six seed, Charlie. What's good, six seed? Yeah, I know you don't like the Lakers, bro. I know you don't like the Lakers, but it'll help us so much. It'll help us so much. I hate both of them, too. I hate both of them, too. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, my enemy of my enemy is my friend type of thing <laughs> my enemy of my uh, uh, uh you know they are friends tonight they are friends tonight six seed they are friends tonight but let's get to the game man that was a good game that was a good game yeah i missed y'all too man like i've been having a hectic schedule going on and then i went out of town last week and i was out of town that's why i couldn't really i wasn't at home i was out having spring break with my family so um, last last week was I was cause I was out. What's up, Shalice? How y'all feeling? But uh, yeah, man, good game, good game, excellent game, excellent game. I think this game, and I hate to be, you know, I'm not trying to draw a draw wedge in the fran uh, franchise or Shangoon better than Shangoon. I do not think we're better without Shangoon. I don't think we're better without Shangoon. I would say that it do open up the pace that I think a lot of our young guys can actually get out and use their young legs to actually put pressure on transition defense in the transition. Stopping waiting for, uh, you know, the defense to get back so we can run a pick and roll. We get them a chance to get set, especially against a team like the Cleveland Cavaliers where they got a dominant center in the middle that would actually erase everything that we try to put up at the rim. It's good to have them off balance and running backwards so we can actually use our strength as far as uh, transition young guys getting up and down running. And it put a lot of pressure on the defense that if they offer misses, off of makes, even off of makes, they was they they're making would we'll take the ball right out of the basket, throw it down, you know, trying to make them be offset. We got to get them off schedule defensively, and I think that that would had a lot to do with it tonight. That we had them off schedule. Jared Allen wasn't just able to sit back and wait on you know offensive players to go to the hole, and we know one of our best assets is scoring in the paint, driving, uh, getting open looks. Once we start driving and getting open looks, then the th three ball became it. We actually hit some threes. We actually hit quite a bit of threes. I think this was probably one of our best games shooting the three ball of the season, one of them. And it didn't look like they were forced. A lot of threes weren't forced. And it, and it helped that Jalen Green has become a new, you know, father – Look like he's actually, uh, you know, sunning guys on the court. He's probably about to have a son, and now he's sunning guys on the court. He's he's playing with more aggression. He's going to the hole. He's finishing very well, and um, that's a big thing, bro. That's a big thing. He, is he doing things differently? I think he's doing some things a little differently. His defense have been there. His defense have been stellar. He's actually hustling. He had like eleven rebounds. He's 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 going for the ball. He's being aggressive. Going to the hole, fighting through contact, using his pace, like his stutter. That, that's what we always were saying. Like, bro, we know you can go <clears throat> straight to the hole. Start stopping, starting, stop, start, stop, hop, skip, whatever. Get the defense off balance. So they either got to foul you or you, you're going to make an easy layup. You know, and he's starting to use his speed as a weapon. Hitching, stop, ooh, ooh, ooh. dribbling looks a little bit better. He still he still loses the ball sometimes, but it's not as bad as it was at the beginning of the season or the previous two seasons. 
He's starting to get that behind the back dribble going. Uh, he's dunking on people like the last, what, the last game he actually put old boy in a cup. It's like he's starting to get a little bit stronger, I would say. And he's setting up the defenders. He's setting up the defenders to where they can't just get a beat on him. He's just not going straight ahead. So that's a good thing. Uh, Fred Van Vliet, he's, you know, Fred Van Vliet is Fred Van Vliet, but he's running the point guard duties to perfection. He had 11 assists in the first half. 11 assists. 11 assists. You know, and he was actually setting up the table, and he wasn't holding on to the ball too long. He was dumping it down, throwing it. You know what I'm saying? He was uh, finding the open shooters. Jabari was shooting it. Jabari's playing defense. And this probably another, I think what, we, I think we done won three games with Jabari at the center because we don't have to play the drop with Jabari. On the DHOs and the pick and rolls and everything, he can actually come up and when he gets switched, he can hold the, the, the ball, you know, the ball handler. He, the drop is not killing us to where they can uh, open threes and off of the drop big and easy two-pointers off of the drop. J Jabari is at up, up at the point of attack, making guys work. Uh, he's playing defense. Like I said, he's grabbing rebounds. You know, he's 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 doing, you know, what Shangun can't do right now. But like I said, I don't think we're just better without Shangun. We had a little bit of luck with the scheduling. We played some down teams. You know, we played some down teams, some some bad teams. But th tonight, this was a good team. This is a good team. <laughs> you know, this this is a good team, and we routed them. It wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. And we're doing this without Shangun, Tari, Cam. Just imagine if we was at full strength. You know, just imagine if we was at full strength. The things that we will be able to do. So, even if we just barely slip into the play-in, Lord willing, hopefully we can get into the play-in, we can see that next year we should be an even better team. An even better team. Even if we don't trade for nobody. I think just them being together... And playing together. I think we got the records and parts to be good. Maybe get a shooter. And then we got Steven Adams coming. He can handle some of the big guys, the big bulky centers. We should be all right next season. We should be all right. So, but we look pretty good with Jabari playing center because, like I said, he can switch. He can switch on everybody. He can switch on everybody. Just improve our bench. Next year, we shouldn't have Boban. Bobon got to go. We shouldn't have Bobon. You know, really. He's taking up just a roster spot. We probably shouldn't have Tate next year. I know, I know, I know. You know, I know. Don't get on me on by Tate, but we probably shouldn't have Tate next year. We probably sh um Reggie Bullock, he's been hitting a couple of threes. He looks he looks pretty good, man. He looks like he can at least hit some threes, you know. Londell, he's actually <clears throat> starting to turn a corner. He was hurt. He had a significant injury, and he looked like garbage. <laughs> he looked like garbage. You know what I'm saying? We shouldn't. But Londell, if he can be this type of Londell, look like he's starting to get in the swing of things. He, He's not just a negative on the court right now. Now, I'm not going to jump the gun and say he's turned the corner all the way and this is what Londell is going to be, but he's not just a negative on the court. I wish he don't shoot them threes, but that's kind of the defense scheming for the worst shot maker on the court to shoot the threes. So that's why he's shooting the threes. We got us a super chat from Third Coast. Third Coast Alliance says, it's been a wild space. Good to see your face. Hope everything is going well with you and Rob Shadamas. The Rocks played three quarters of great defense and didn't really let them back into the game once we got a comfortable lead. That's all facts. Yes, we've been good. Me and Rob Shadamas, we've been good. Appreciate your concern. You know, like I said, my job is kind of taxing. My job been been on me, bro. Just my job, man. So, you know, got to take care of the family first. But I know y'all always going to be here with me. And my CSGs, CMP. you know what I'm saying? You know y'all always going to be here with me. Man, we all so, we got. You know we all we got. We all we got. 
But yeah, bro. Appreciate that super chat, my man. Appreciate that super chat. We're gonna um I'm gonna get to the stats real quick. Let me get to the stats. Let me get to the stats. What happened? I just had them pulled up. All right, there we go. All right, all right, all right. We got Jabari Smith Jr., 32 minutes, 8 for 13 from the field, 3 for 5 from the three-point line, 1 for 1 from the free throw line, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, 3 blocks. Plus 22 with 20 points. Jabari had a good game. Great game. Efficient game. Our man Thompson played 26 minutes. He was 8 for 11 from the field. 2 for 3 from the free throw. 8 rebounds. 1 steal. And plus 13 with 18 points. Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks was giving me... <laughs> looked like he had CTE to begin. But he, he made some good shots, but... He was he was really uh pissing me off. I'm not gonna lie. At the beginning of the game, he was he was missing other people on the fast break. He wasn't giving the ball up. He was trying to play hero ball for a little bit. But we take the good and the bad with Dylan Brooks. 26 minutes, five for 12 from the field, two for six from three, three rebounds, two assists, two steals, a plus seven with 12 points. Fred Van Vliet played 35 minutes. He was five for 15 from the field, three for eight from the three point line. Five rebounds, 16 assists, 16 assists, one steal, one block, a plus 14 with 13 points. 16 assists. That's 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 magnificent. That's what you want from Fred Van Bleet. You don't want him just really chunking up a lot of shots, but when Shingoon down, you know, the guard's going to have to shoot more. Uh, Jalen Green played 33 minutes. He was 9 for 20 from the field, 4 for 9 from the 3, 4 for 6 from the free throw line, 11 rebounds. He had the most rebounds on the squad. Jalen Green led the game with 11 rebounds. Four assists. He, he made some good dimes. He made some good dimes. I'm not going to lie. One steal and two blocks. Bro locked up, um, who was it, Okoro? Or one of them guys locked him up and then blocked the shot. I was like, hold on, Jalen, that's new. That's different. Jalen been different, different. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. He was a plus 16 with 26 points. Uncle Jeff played 26 minutes. He was four for eight from the field. One for four from the three-point line. Um, four rebounds, one assist, one steal. He was a zero with nine points. Reggie Bullock played 16 minutes. He was one for two from the uh, field, one for two from three. Five rebounds, a negative two with three points. Tate played 13 minutes. He was three for six from the field, one for three from the three-point line, one for two from the free throw line. Uh, one rebound, one steal, plus one with eight points. Londale played 17 minutes. He was three for five from the field, over two from three, three rebounds, one block, plus seven with six points. And Aaron Holiday, he did a whole bunch of cardio. He had two points, <laughs> one for four from the field. What's happening, everybody? Who in the building with me? Who in the building with me? Who in the building with me? Hit the chat so I can shout you out. Hit the chat so I can shout you out. Then I'm going to bring y'all up. I'm going to bring y'all up. So we can get it popping. So we can get it popping. Who we got in here with us? K to the MF and P. What's good with it? Uncle Sixy. Charles Robinson. What's good? Space 8713. DJ Mills. What's happening? Backstreet Marine. What's good with it? Last name winner, what's happening? Two guy YGO, what's good with it? Michael Porter, what's good? Michael Porter Jr. Nah, I'm playing. Um, <clears throat> KDC, Sigma Migs in the building, AI Productions, EL Hutton, what's good? M Map 94, Savage, what's happening? Gary Bankston in the building. Gary Bankston, Daniel Berry Sports Highlights, what's happening? Um, uh, Third Coast Alliance, Salise Carter, what's happening? Who else we got in here with us? Uh, Ring Leader, what's good, Ring Leader? James Pierce in the building. Jalen Johnson, what's happening? 
Carl Fair. What's good? Kurt, Kurt in the building. Julius Holder, what's good? New BT2, what's good? Man, my mouse is acting up. It keep glitching. Terry Agent in the building, what's happening? Bumper, what's good with it, Bumper? And that's about it. That's about it. Bustin' Sire, what's good, Bustin'? I see you. I see you. If I missed you, I ain't dish you, man. Howard Man, what's good, Howard Man? Chet Men, what's good, Chet Men? I see y'all in the building. Appreciate y'all for dropping by. Appreciate y'all for dropping by. Yeah, man, like I said, man, that was a good game, pushing the pace, not letting them get set. We was rebounding. I think we out-rebounded them. Um, we was out-assisted them. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button if you're in there with me. Hit that like button. That's what I'm talking about, third coast. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to bring y'all up. I'm going to bring y'all up. That's what I. That's all I got on the game, man. It was just a good game. Hopefully, we can just keep it rolling, keep it going. We got some winnable games coming up. We got some winnable games coming up, man. Let's close that. Uh, let's end the season on a good note. Let's end the season on a good note. Hope and pray that the Lakers win tonight. I'm sorry, but let's let's hope and pray that they win and beat the Golden State Warriors tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Who we got? That go to Link. That go to Link. Come on up. Come on up. Now, the Warriors got a... You better look at that again, Space Age. The Warriors got some games. The Warriors got some, some tough games coming up. Ah. Ain't nothing like some Gatorade and Powerade, man. The drink of champions. The drink of champions. We got my man, Six E Charlie in the building. What's up, Six E? <laughs> How's it going, man? man. Uh, first of all, like I always say, I'm praying for you, your family, and everybody in the Chop Shop family. I've always been doing that, and I'm not going to never stop. Now, space is good to see you because I got a little worried. I was like, man, uh, I wonder what happened to my boy. I hope everything <laughs> was okay, you know. But I, I have to tell you, it's good to hear from you because, man, I needed therapy at first. Uh, because yeah. <laughs> I was like saying to myself, man, look at this team. I stopped even watching because I got so mad at what it was. People was mad at me. I'm finna just explain, you know, what it is that I was saying. And uh, first, let me start right here. Space, at first, I was so hot about Jalen Green trying to f jump over the world, losing the ball, couldn't shoot. I was <laughs> on that bench that was hollering, get rid of him. I sure was. I ain't going to sit here and lie. But now, this looks like a different team than what they were looking. And if Jalen would have played like this, like Shingun has been doing all season long, we wouldn't have to be talking about no play-in. We would be in there already. Now, with that being said, I have to sit back here and say, the person that surprised the mess out of me is Jock Landale. I ain't <laughs> seen him do any of that. And I was like saying to myself, telling Shalice, look at Landale, look at Landale. You know, I'm like, look at what he doing. So I was, I told her, I don't know if you got it, but she was on your, uh, your Instagram. And I'm like, tell Space to please give me my number and tell him to call me. Because I, I got worried about you, man, because I got spoiled. <laughs> being able to talk on your channel and stuff. I know Frank was there, but we couldn't talk to Frank. Yeah. And we we missed, you know, getting an opportunity to talk to you. Now, Jalen is finally then got it because at first sitting around there getting mad at everybody because he was playing like dog mess. He was playing like dog mess. Let's just tell the truth. The thing that scares me is the fact that he done this every year. 
wait to after all-star break then he started to do something we need him to do it now start at the beginning next year start off playing like this and because if he did we would be in there now like you said with Stephen Adams coming I'm going to tell you, if they keep playing like this, don't trade nobody. Just add a shooter. And let's see what we can do with what it is that's going on. Because this is the last thing I'm going to say, uh, Space, and I want to hear what you have to say, is I am still was mad at Stone. That was a good pickup, picking up uh, 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 Adams. But, man, how can you let everybody go and you don't get nothing? Just think if we would have got something, too. We would have been a whole lot better team than what we is this year. And that's his job is to give M.A. Udoka what he needs to succeed. We got the coach. We just need to get a couple of more players off in there. Now, like you say with the Lakers, I'm sorry, man. I hate them, and I hate Golden State. I don't care who win. I'm going to watch it, though, but I don't care who win. So, man, God bless you to be back. You know what I'm saying? I, I missed you. You know, I tell your family I said hello. And I'm going to say another special prayer that you can continue to turn around and do what you're doing. You and everybody else that's uh, CMGs and a part of this Chop Shop family. Love y'all all. Let me shut up. I appreciate that, Charlie, man. Love you too, bro. Um, <clears throat> yeah, man, it was just like, uh, you know, Frank, I think I told you I had got a different job. My schedule was hectic and it's a real demanding job, but, you know, I got to take care of the family. So I wasn't, you know, ghosting y'all on purpose, man. You know I would never ghost my CSGs, bro. Um, it was just I was busy. You know, life, life got the life in on me, you know, so to say. But, yeah, I do agree with you, Charlie, that maybe we could have made uh, some moves at the trade deadline to actually better this team. And I guess the way that we was looking, it was looking like no matter who we bring in, maybe we wasn't going to even, you know, be able to turn it around. So they kind of – you know, stood pat, but I do think we had necessary uh, positions that we needed of need. And we seen guys getting moved for second round picks, but we had to give up a lot of second round picks to get off of KPJ. Then we, you know, we got fleeced by some second round picks, uh, a couple of second round picks. And I don't think that they really wanted to give up any like prominent value assets because I'm pretty sure if we was trying to get like, like uh, Mikael Bridges or somebody like that caliber, we was probably gonna have to end up breaking up the six core and uh, probably giving them their Brooklyn pick back, which looked like it's gonna probably be a top ten pick, that Brooklyn pick. And I'm of the mindset if we don't trade it, then we're gonna have to use it for something that that's of need, a shooter. Or a backup center. I'm looking, looking, probably leaning more towards a backup center to do something with that pick if we don't end up trading it. And um, but this was what we wanted to see. Like, this is what we wanted to see from our young guys. Like I always said, we're not better. We're not better than with Alp Hurt. Like Alp, he's a great player. We're not better. I think we just need to find a balance between half court offense and transition and running. If we can find that balance, and then that'll keep the, the the opposing team off balance as well. No, we're not going to always run, and then no, we're not going to always slow it down. So they won't be able to just get a bead on us. Um, but I think we did fall into the the trap of just half court, half court, pick and roll, you know. But we don't we don't really have the shooters for that, the outside shooting to facilitate off of the pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll. So. But one one thing that we have been doing better is playing defense too. We have been playing better defense, and uh, you Udoka kind of leaned toward or gave a peek behind the curtain of why we would better you know been better playing defense because we can switch everything. We don't have a drop big, you know. We don't have that drop big in the to where we can be up and physical at the point of the attack on the ball. So, it's a it's a trade off. Our offense don't look as good, like especially the past two games. We was kind of struggling, but our defense was there. This game is like everything started to click. We was good offensively. We was good defensively. 
But that doesn't mean that we're better without Shangun. So if you're thinking that we're better without Shangun, you probably need to get, you know, your head checked because Shangun is an asset to this team, no matter if you like it or not. You know, Shangun is an asset. I just think we get a different little, you know, players, mix of players to when we do have to run half court that we can facilitate the gravity of Shangun and hurt other teams for doubling them and tripling them because we got outside shooters that actually knock down the shot. So then you have to pick your poison. You let Shangun eat up on your pause. <laughs> pause, I didn't mean it like that. You let Shangun eat in the paint on your center or you try to stop the threes. You know, that's 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 what they're going to have to pick. So it is like a give and take. It's a trade-off with Shangun not being here. And hopefully, if we do end up making the play-in slash playoffs or something, he's he could come back. I hope I'm hoping they just not gonna shut him down totally because if we get him to playoffs, we're gonna need him because we're gonna need that half court presence in the playoffs. You just ain't gonna be able to run and gun everybody in the playoffs. You're gonna need that half court offense in the playoffs. So yeah, I agree with you, Charlie. It was kind of disappointing. I'm glad, you know. We seeing this from these young guys that we actually starting to click, but I think we still got gaps and holes on this on this uh, team that Stone needed to address and he just didn't, you know. So yeah, I'm with you, Charlie. We don't have nobody else that want to come up. That go to link. That go to link. Me and me and Uncle Charlie sit up here and just wrap it wrap it up. Then you know y'all don't want to come up and talk to me. Ain't that right, Six C? Yeah, and you know what? You're right. We're not better without uh, Shingoon. Shingoon is 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 the the building block. It's just that now the other players are starting to wake up, and that's what I, in a way that I look at it. Like I said, I stopped watching. I was so mad. You know, I was like, man, I'm sick of this. I was the one hollering six seed. Everybody said no, and now they look like all Americans, and these knuckleheads ain't doing nothing. And Stone ain't did nothing to make us any even better than what we were. But then, like I said, it started with me, and I'm not going to lie to you, Space, is when we played the Clippers. That's when I, I took my look again because wasn't nothing on TV. And I was like, wait a minute. Look at this, man. Look at how they playing now. So mm -hmm. then I was like, okay, now I can see what it is that's going on. I just got to say to you, my brother, Jalen Green has done this before. I'm tired of this. Wait till the second half, and then you show that you can be a good player. You got to do it starting off. If he would have done that, he would have took some of the pressure off of Shin Goon that was doing everything. And see, like you said, that pass it into Shingoon and let him dribble and then let him pass the ball. People got hip to that. You know, mm -hmm. MA needs to change it to similar to what we're doing now, as you said. Finds a difference in between all of this, which is going to make us good. He, sh he can see it now, just like we can see it. Now, if uh, 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 Stephen Adams come back, let's say 70% of what he was, that's going to be huge for us very huge for us all we need now is some shooting if we can get it and if we make the play in then we'll have a whole lot of NBA players wanting to come over here to play with us because they can see that we're worth something because the way they was playing I don't want to hear nothing about oh we won about five more games more than last time that ain't nothing yeah. I wanted to see them turn around here and do something. Now, if they don't make the play in space, I ain't mad. I was at first, but I ain't now. You know what I'm saying? Because I see something. That's why I'm saying this. And like I say, man, I, I, I'm telling you, I was like, man, something happened to space. Something happened to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I remember you were saying that uh, the, uh, your house, I think, was flooded or something. And I'm like, man, they they probably made my boy have to move. Man, what's wrong <laughs> with them? You know what I'm saying? And then I'm saying to myself, I finally found a home, a, a channel that I love. Mm -hmm. And he ain't here no more. 
So I, I kept saying, Shalice, text him. Text him and tell him, I say, give me a call. And I'm looking at my phone every day. Once <laughs> I have seen it, I was going to sit back and say, man, like I'm saying to you right, right now, I've been praying for you, man. Don't think I stopped on everybody else. I haven't stopped that. It's just that, man, if y'all have been talking to me before now, Space, you'd have been mad at me because I was so mad. Like you were saying, I wanted to throw my phone into the TV <laughs> because I'm like, man, all this money I'm putting out here to see them and this what I'm getting for it, going to the game. What the heck am I going to the game for? Right. But now I can shut up. So like I say, man, I just love that you back. I'm love that you okay. And I still like we were telling you that, you know, want to be able to, you know, at least once a, a year, be able to go to the game like we did before and be able to see you get a hug from you and Frank. You know what I'm saying? And everybody mm -hmm. else, man, you know, we need to see each other at least one game. We can all do one game. You know what I'm saying? Right. If, 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 if God permits it, but you don't work too hard, man. I know you got your family to support. It's just good that that you're okay. That's the whole thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Long as you are okay and stuff. So like I say, when you talk to Frank again, tell him next time when space is gone, just say it one time. Space is okay, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's just going through a little bit of something. You know, he got a job. To, you know, just I said, it's not telling your business, man, but let us know something. Because <laughs> I was like saying to myself, man, I ain't got my boy no more. Am I going to have to uh, get his picture and start passing out flyers saying, where's space? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, man, I just want to tell you, man, you know, you're part of my family, man. I love you. I love your family. And, you know, I'm glad that you back. And now that I know that you okay, I won't worry too much, too hard, no more. And I, what I'm going to do is pass the mic over to somebody else. Somebody come on up, man. We ain't heard from space in a long time. Get up <laughs> off y'all butt, man. Support this man before he turn around and say, all right, then I ain't coming back. So don't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give him some love. Okay? Love y'all, man. Appreciate that, six. Appreciate that, bro. <laughs> Nah, man, you ain't got to put out, put me on the back of the milk cart, man. I'm here. I'm here. I mean, whenever I got a chance, I did drop by and I was, uh, but I, I guess I got a, I don't know. I guess I haven't been getting notifications on my, on my, uh, Instagram. I don't, I don't, I don't know why I didn't see Shalice's, um, text, but I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. Uh, third host of the lines with another super J says being able to maintain this streak without Shangoon is a sign of how versatile we can be. That we have the right talent to play multiple ways. That's facts. That's facts. That's facts. We got my boy, Third Coast. I mean, not Third Coast. EF. He was so good. He was good, EF. Come off that mute button, EF. I know you got big fingers. EF Hutton. Can y'all hear EF? I don't hear you, EF. EF. I guess whenever you get ready, EF, you you can talk to us. <laughs> you can talk to us. Maybe you need to drop and come back up, EF. Let me let me remove you and put you back up. EF Hutton, can you hear me? Charlie, do you hear EF? No, I don't hear him, man. Only thing I can hear is you. Oh, okay, okay. Just making sure it's not me. Making sure it's not me. I kind of hear a little something. Let me let me remove this one from you, EF. I'm going to put the link. I'm going to put the link back in there for you. There you go, bro. Hit the link. Hit the link. <clears throat> yeah, but in the meantime, between time, man, appreciate everybody. Um, if y'all want to, you know, come up, hit the ask me a question in the chat and see. I can see if I can get to it. Here you go, EF. What's good, EF? Yo, what's up? 
All right, all right. I can hear you. I can hear you. What's good with it, bro? Okay, hold on. I got I got the echo going in the background. Let me see if I can find you. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, I have my theme song ready, but I ain't going to hit y'all with the theme song. I just wanted to say, you know what I mean? Could have, you know, could have been a loss, you know what I mean? Um, not not that we was playing bad at any point in the game. I just think it's one of those games that we're, you know, everything clicking. You know what I mean? When, when, when Jalen come out and he get assists out the gate and it's to a Jabari, high flying rim rattler you know that's one of those things mm-hmm. like okay everything going good and i would have liked to seen a little more resistance from the interior of um of, of the cavaliers to see how we play you know against a stout interior defense pause but um all in all man it's a good game like i said earlier and i i you know i, I repeat this i'm gonna stand on my soapbox man when Jalen is rebounding you know, it, it, he's effective, it, and it's it's nothing, nothing else. You really like the shooting and all that stuff come and go. But to me, like the passing, okay, I'm cool with the passing. You know, it's all, it's all right. But to me, in order for Jalen really to be an impact player, he has to use his athleticism to get those rebounds. And if he continues, like Charlie was saying, if he continues to get those rebounds, you know, when Shingoon is playing. You know, you imagine Tari coming in doing his rebounding thing, Shangoon there, and Jalen is attacking the glass. That mm-hmm. makes us a, a, a very good rebounding team at that point. And I just, you know, um, I agree with you. You know, he been he been playing with aggression. You know, he been playing like an alpha. Um, you know, maybe TT Games. TT Games got that boy mind right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever it take, man. Whatever it take. You know, because sports is is all about confidence. You know what I mean? It's all about confidence and swagger and, and just and just being able to feel yourself, Paul. But you know, um, if, if if it take that for him, then hey, you know, that's what it is, man. I just I I like I like when he play aggressive. He and focus you know because <clears throat> outside of the, the the mental thing you know the mental thing as to it, it contributes to him being focused on certain technic technical things like balance stable shooting which is something that we have all complained about you know the flying to the side drifting two inches to the left where we know when he drifts two inches to the left his ball usually comes off right because he's going mm-hmm. left and it, he has the flick to his shot. His ball usually hits the rim and comes off right. But when mm-hmm. he's balanced, he's a good shooter. He just he just he he's a he's a good shooter when he shoots balanced jump shots. And we've been seeing we've been seeing that consecutively uh, over the past couple of games. And uh, I commend him for that. Um, also, I noticed that we was talking about his uh, pace, his his ability to um, have a placement dribble to where he can spot the ball outside of his dribble box and then go and, and and not allow the defense to be able to telegraph where he's going next and we've seen him start to do that now, i don't i'm not gonna say that that's something that you know he had to hear us say do but i think it's something that the defense have have forced him into doing and now it's starting to show up in this game and it just shows um how where we are as a community of what's going on the, on the basketball court so um uh, i'm, I'm a, i want to change the topic just a little bit because um i was having a back and forth with a guy on um on youtube today about Bronny james and he was saying that Bronny james won't get drafted and i was saying simply that uh, a team like the rockets would draft by Bronny james um just for the opportunity to try to get LeBron James, you know, because we got a, a slew of guards and guards like Aaron Holiday and Reggie Bullock, you know, are to me as good as Bronny James would be, you know, I mean, of course they'd be better, but I'm saying Bronny James being the fifth or sixth guard option on the team wouldn't hurt us if we was able to get a player like LeBron. And it just, it just goes to say this is what I wanted to say that Stone has hasn't done a horrible job putting this team together. Um, Cause a lot of times, 
I, you know, I hear Frank say the team is trash, you know, the team is garbage. And I know that's that's a running phrase around here because we are very hyperbolic in how we <laughs> assess our teams. Um, but I don't think the team is put together trash. I think that we got a lot of scrap pieces. We got a lot of trash. I ain't gonna say trash, but we got a lot of scrap pieces on our team. I was about that to we say, you got to say it as a trash team. <laughs> no, I'm saying, but we, we have we have we have pieces that we don't need on our team that we need to upgrade those positions. Yeah. Like we need to upgrade our you know our our three off the bench. We need to upgrade our you know our scores. We need to upgrade our rebounding off the bench. So it's a lot of things like that that we need to handle. And um, like you know, the one thing that we do all agree on is that Stone is going to be under the microscope. You know, as to what he do. And I also want I want to I want to end with this. Ademar is 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 buns right now, man. He's not. Oh he's not, no, he's, you ain't switching no more, is you? I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna switch on him, man. I'm just saying that he hasn't he hasn't played up to what I thought he was gonna play in college. But ultimately, um, I think he'll get there. You know, I think he'll get there soon. Um, but he, but he hasn't been there as of um, you know, from from what I watched this year. Yeah, and and to be fair, I don't think Frank's saying that we have a trash team. I think he's just saying like like you said, like it's an awkwardly built team. It doesn't like for especially like the bench is not really pieces that fit, you know. And I think that's what Frank means when he's saying like we don't we have a because he can't you know he's not calling people like Shangun and Tari and Bari and and you know uh, Cam Whitmore. He ain't calling them trash. So it's not like we got a trash team. It's just we don't have the team to facilitate, especially the type of offense that we were trying to run with Shangun. We don't have shooters on the outside to make teams, you know, punish teams whenever they go and double and triple Shangun to actually hit threes and make them uh, pick that poison. That's what Frank is saying. You know, he's not yeah. calling, you know, the team it's like collectively. Saying, it's is, like saying you got trash. a quarterback that can throw the ball 60 yards, but all your wide receivers run a 5-3. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly, exactly. So if Frank Frank wasn't saying that we got a bad team, like in that in that aspect, but you know, we like guys like Bobon and all them guys that's on the bench that really don't get no playing time. Like we could have actually used those roster spots for team for players that are actually help and. Uh, give us a different dynamic of uh, of a team while while they're out there, you know. So we do have a lot of extra weight, you know, uh, on the team, bro. That w- that we can cut the fat, especially going into next year. Uh, we got us a new subscriber, Pool Man Blake. Appreciate you for subscribing to the channel. You just joined one of the best uh, communities on the U- YouTube, man. The Rockets Chop Shop, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Consider becoming a member and hit the link in the description. Who we got, man? We got my boy Kurt. What's up, Kurt? Oh, he said don't call him on yet. You know, Kurt, he probably sleeping, taking a nap. He said don't you know call him on. <laughs> oh, that's Kurt. Don't call <laughs> on me yet. Kurt, are you ready? <laughs> that was, he came up here about ten minutes ago. You know, Kurt's sleepy, man. Kurt, well, Kurt, Kurt, Kurt if Kurt you wasn't ready, why you get in the box, bro? You can't get in the box and not be ready, bro. You can't get in the box and not be ready. Yeah, but um, personal... Nah, man. Go ahead. Nah, but for my personal opinion, I think that we can catch Golden State, man. Because Steph's supposed to be hurt. You know, he's supposed to be hurt, and... I think he's actually playing. Are they playing right now? I think they playing right now. Oh, um, he's playing space. He's playing. Yeah, but he's supposed he's to be playing. hurt, right? Oh, I'm out tripping. Yeah. yeah, he was supposed to have been hurt. Draymond is playing too. He was supposed to have been hurt also. But they both are playing. I told you I'm going to peek over at it because I, I hope we get in there too. But what, one one last thing, uh, this team was never complete, man. And that's what the problem yeah. was, of it was. We was never complete. That's why we're going through what we're going through. But let me let, you, let some other people talk because I don't want to hog the mic. Nah, you can't hog the mic, Uncle Charlie, man. You you got you to gotta make up time, man. You got you are. Uh... 
how they do like a makeup test in school you got makeup test to do yeah. man we need, <laughs> we, we need to cross reference some of your uh some of your some of your um some of your some of your feelings about everything because you know it, it's been times where we wanted to come on here and go ham and you weren't here to do it for us <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I have to tell you that. I'm sorry. That's why I was telling Space. If I if he would have been there when they were playing like they were playing, man, I'm telling you, I stopped watching. I was so mad. And especially after trade deadline, I was just saying, okay, they going to do something. And when they didn't, it pissed me off. But, you know, I'm glad that all of y'all are on there. You know, EF, you know what I'm saying? I missed y'all. That's what I was saying. I missed everybody, man. It's the best uh, podcast out there. And I'm like saying to myself, something had to happen to space. He's always <laughs> there. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I even was telling LV, I was like, man, I miss being able to talk to my to chop shop family, even if they don't agree with me. You know, it was just nice having somebody to talk to other than my own butt. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I said, I'm glad to, that, you know, he's back. I'm glad to hear your voice, EF. You know, I'm, I'm glad for everything. Everybody, man, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, y'all help make this be the way that it is. And in space and Frank give us a chance to do what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? We don't disrespect each other. We just sit back here and laugh, talk. And if we don't agree, we say what we have to say and we move on. So it's like I said, this is a golden thing that we got going. So, you know, let me say, let y'all talk. Nah, yeah, I, I think, I, I think, um, uh, you know, Raphael Stone is, is an anomaly, man, because either he's putting on a clinic and a master class in how to build a team. Because, I mean, let's look at it. You know, we got every single piece that you would possibly want. We got a stretch big, you know, in, in Jabari. We got Shangoon, you know, who, who was a dominant interior presence offensively, a hub that can, you know, I mean, to be honest, I, I think, you know, I know, I don't think Space like it as much, but I actually like RP leading the break. You know, I, I, I like his speed, you know, um, with the ball. We got uh, Jalen Green. I think he had a growth spurt this year. He looked taller to me than he did at the beginning of the year. You know, Tari, you know, um, Cam, Amin, we got all these great pieces. And and he didn't make a move at the trade deadline. And I'm I'm like I'm like Uncle Charlie. Well, I'm like I'm saying to myself, this is very uncharacteristic of how the Houston Rocket franchise has operated over the past 30 years. Like this is something that we haven't seen since, you know, Sleepy Floyd days. Like every year we do something. Either we getting players at the buyout, we make a splash. We get that that big player that's in there at the trade deadline. You know, we moving something around. We shuffling something around. And I mean, this is the first year. Even last year, you know, we did we we we, we made changes. You know, we, we had um, uh, Daniel Tyson guys coming in and out for the past couple of years and stuff like that. And you know, moving players around. But this year, he just really stayed padded. Like, okay, I'm just gonna pick up. Um, a salary guy and a big man that if he come back healthy, you know, we can use him if we got him, if we have to let Boban go or, you know, which I, I don't even think he's going to let Boban go. I believe he'll probably let Boban retire here if he want to. No, nah, man, don't say that. I mean, I, I believe he will. It's, it's, you know, I think it's almost a foregone conclusion that, you know, it's, it's no reason to get rid of him. He only making, what, $2 million. So it's not it's not like he heard nothing. He's just a roster spot, a, a locker guy. But I mean, Stone is is either or. <laughs> like at the end of this, at the end of next year, you know, we're gonna be saying, man, Stone really shocked us. Oh, uh, you know, we're gonna be saying, man, that was crazy what he did. You know what I mean? It's, it's gonna be either or. And I'm I'm like I'm chop, chopping at the bits, man, because I'm really lost on where the hell is he going? Like. If like if, at, at a point at the beginning of the year, I was saying, okay, I kind of can see what he's doing. And as approaching the trade deadline, you know me, I'm, I'm looking at this. He could do this. He could try that. He could do this. He could try that. And I'm getting all these, you know, different things, the things that he could try and nothing. And now I'm sitting here like, you know, 
twiddling my thumbs like I'm playing having a thumbing war with myself and I'm saying what the hell is the man doing you know he got I everything mean, he need and you don't not, know what else he's gonna do it's not always a good thing at least <laughs> that you don't know <laughs> what he's doing that's not always a good thing he could be all. he could be messing up you know and at this point of the of the season, I think he we should know what he's doing. He's been here three years, so we should have an idea about what he's doing. And and for you to say I don't know what he's doing, then it's kind of like uh uh I don't know. So I I'm like you know me Stone. I'm I'm up to the point to where Stone have to show me for me to believe. It. You know what I'm saying? Let me get to these super chats. Uh, Third Coast Lions with another super chat. Appreciate that, my man. He says that Southerners. I think we all know what it is like to have to make do with scraps. We don't have the best pieces, but that doesn't mean we can't make a mean gumbo. I like our chances. Facts, bro. Facts. That's what gumbo and dishes like that come from. <clears throat> you know, uh, oxtails and all that, man. People wasn't eating that until, you know, us Southerners had to put our little flavor on it and make it good. You know what I'm saying? Some Southerners, we, you know, we eat raccoon. <laughs> We make a raccoon taste good, bro. So, you know, you know, I, I hear you on that third coast. I hear you. Definitely hear you. For sure. We got us another super chat from Benny Mac. He says, uh, Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Langoon. <laughs> Not Langoon. That boy on, on Landale's train, man. Benny Mac, crazy, man. Third good Marshall with a super chat. He says, the beauty about today's game is that we finally saw A-Man and Jabari being used in different ways. I imagine inverting pick and roll with A-Man and Shangoon. Yeah, man, that would be... I, I think I, I kind of mentioned that before. Like, that would be crazy because Shangoon can actually go up and, and actually catch alleys <laughs> off of Shangoon's little pick and roll. That would be, you know, that would be interesting to see. That'd be interesting to see, man. But uh, appreciate that super chat, bro. Um, man, I guess Land Landale getting some fans in the in the Rockets <laughs> the community. The way he's been playing these last what I say his last three games, he's been decent. He's he's at least a serviceable big look like now. What 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 do you think, EO? Yeah, he 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 tricked us. <laughs> he, he tricked, tricked us too. <laughs> yeah, because we we you know coming from um. From Phoenix, we were like, he gonna be he gonna be different, you know. It's gonna be something different, rough and rugged, you know. We expected him to be rough and rugged. And he came here and he played like he was a deer in headlights for five months, mm. and and it's like it's not it's not like something clicked on for him. It's like all of a sudden he was his sense of urgency just came to him. It's like if we, if I don't start playing now, you know. I might not get another chance. And all of a sudden, he everywhere. And I think it just came off of putting him in a position. Like, it's one of those things to where, like, if somebody put put you in and they say, we need you to do X, Y, Z, that might be hard for you to do. But once it's like, you know, we're going to put you in here and your X, Y, Z is compatible with what you like to do. Go out there, set screens, you know, hit people, you know, and then everything else opens up because what what do you like? I like to set screens. I like to hit people. Now yeah. everything else opens up. Now now the three point shot starts to fall. Now you are getting into your role like you want to roll and your footwork starting your timing and everything coming together. But if they say go in, you know, set a screen, dive to the rim, post up, we're gonna pass you the ball. Now you facilitate. That's not where your rhythm is at. So I think I think it's a I think it's an after effect of putting him in a position to where he is doing what he's what what he knows how to do and that muscle memory is allowing him to play freely and that's big man because it says that um, he made you got you have an option that you wasn't using earlier you know and that was making Landell look bad as opposed to Landell just not being you know what we thought he was. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> on the cool, adversity makes you either sink or swim. You know what I'm saying, so to say. And even when, when we did have Shangoon, we seen that we was pretty much about to lose, like, mathematically was about to be out of the play-in tournament or anything like that. So, 
they actually started playing pre good ball. We we beat Sacramento. You know they they're top six team in the West. We beat Sacramento and we beat them twice earlier. You know of the season, but we we can started to see this coming together even with Shangoon. You know so. Let's not say we're just that much better without Shangoon, but M.A. is the kind of coach, it seems, that when adversity hits, he brings the best out of his players. And I just think it's, it's just that that's happening. We're down people. We're, you know, we're hurt. We're ailing. we backs against the wall. It's, it's time to put up or shut up. And these guys yeah, yeah. are actually starting to answer the call. You know, E-May knows what but buttons to push, I think, when it comes to certain players or, or and as a team collectively, to where now he's pushing the right buttons. Like, come on, it's go time. It's go time. Yeah. This is not where y'all wanted to be the beginning of the season, you know. And so, let's go. It's go time. Let's go. The Land Landale did say that, like, going into the All-Star break, they had, like, a sit-down uh, team meeting, you know, uh, look-in-the-mirror meeting where they had to look at each other and, and you know, and, and face the music that they, that everybody wasn't playing well. So I wonder if that has something to do with the way he's playing now. And sometimes it take that. And I, I, I would have liked to have been a fly on the wall in that room and see, you know, of course we know Fred was probably cussing and dealing with probably saying some stuff and Tate might have been saying some stuff. But I would have liked to see where where was what, what was Jalen's voice like in that room as far as being the leader, you know. Do you do you still think do you think Jalen is the leader? What it well <clears throat> he did um they did make a uh yeah I don't know if you be on Twitter or not EF, but it was a little like article come out that says that he's he's the one that's been mentoring uh Cam Whitmore. Jalen have. And cool. he's saying that he feel like it's his duty, you know, to be a leader and to show people uh, what the young guys like how it's done he's been in there been in the league this is third year going on his fourth year and you feel like he kind of got the feel of the of the game the feel of the league and he's actually helping uh cam Wilmore transition his game into being uh, an nba player so i wouldn't just poo poo it and say oh he ain't say nothing he didn't because if anybody should be tired of losing on this squad it should be him him and shangun him and right. Shangun should be the ones that's tired of losing because they've been here pretty much the whole time through these three years. So if anybody is tired of losing, it should be him. And hopefully he wasn't just sitting back, you know, letting the older vets take all the, you know, the responsibility of this season on their shoulders. And hopefully he, you know, looked in the mirror and said, I could do this better and I'm going to be better. And it looked like, it's, it's working. Whatever happened, M.A. is doing it. I, I, no, I no doubt believe that Jalen is a leader. You know, and it's one of the things that I was saying. Um, I was watching the podcast, and they were saying that one of the co-hosts on the podcast wasn't as good as one of the other co-hosts on the podcast. You know, and I was saying that, well, this particular guy has his own podcast, and he understands that the – the host host the head host on the podcast is a better talent than he is so it's not just about being an upfront leader that you have to be more outspoken or this or that it's also learning how to lead from the back pause <laughs> i was about to say <laughs> lead from the back know, is crazy bro <laughs> <laughs> right 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 i had to kiss myself on that one but um you know it's it's it's, it's a matter of saying okay you know that Sometimes, okay, you got you got Fred, and if you Jalen, you say, you know, I know it's it's gonna be my team, but right now we got a veteran. I'm gonna let him be the official voice and the official leader. We got Dylan; he's our official rah rah guy. Now, I know I'm I'm gonna learn how to be a leader from them, but at the same time, I got my own moments of aggression where I'm in people face too, and it's it, I don't have to be the, you know, I don't ha I don't have to be Jordan Poole. I don't have to try to make it ultimately my voice over everybody all the time because I got guys who are here to do and that's being a leader too sometimes it's just saying this guy's a better leader than me you know sometimes yeah, that's, that's being a leader yeah I can see that I mean yeah I mean I don't got nothing, nothing against that you know uh, just like 
and on the team, you just gotta have a certain role, you know. But I'm not, I'm not quite sure how vocal Dylan Brooks is. Maybe in practice, maybe, but it seemed like during the games, bro was just like in his own zone. The pre-game, he's looking, staring off into space towards the other team. He ain't saying nothing. And while you're on the bench, he just looked like he's staring off in the space. He he talks more to the referees than he do his other play, the other te- players on the team. It's like he's going to go at the referees. He's going to yeah, yap. But maybe that could just be my, uh, you know, perception of him. But I don't see him really talking it up, like coaching it up on on the sidelines, especially on defense. Seems like Fred Van Vliet is the vocal leader and offensively and then – uh, M.A. is the vocal leader defensively, but, you know, I ain't, like you say, I'm not the fly on the wall, so I don't know. But uh, that's just what I get from him. But it's- you know what? You know what I say? It was too much he he ha ha he he ha ha the whole time. Oh, I'm going I'm to rise. He he ha ha he he ha ha. But when everybody started getting on his back, talking about you playing like dog mess, I understand why you doing what you doing, trying to jump over the whole team, flying in there, losing the ball. You know, all of that was one of the things that maybe it humbled him where now he's starting to look at it the way that he should have been looking at it all season long. Now, the only thing, like I said, Space, that worries me about Jalen Green, he's done this every year. As soon as he get to All-Star game, then there he go. He's going to start to play right. I need him to do it from the start of the season because at one time I wanted Cam to take his place. I ain't going to lie to you. But, you know, now he's doing what he has to do, and I just hope that the basketball guys bless us with them making the play in for all their effort and the way that they are playing right now. Because, you know, EF and uh, Space, we wasn't winning hardly no road games either. Now we're starting to win them, you know, and stuff. So it's like I said, you know, I don't want to jump up and say he arrived until he show me something in, uh, next year at the start of the season, you know. But I'm not going to say trade him either because I think we got something. And with Landale, I don't know what they said with Landale. Whatever they said, keep telling him because I kept saying he wasn't playable. Now, Boban, he's the mascot. He ain't going nowhere. EF is right. He ain't going nowhere. That's the mascot. So nobody, you know, he ain't got to worry about nothing. Boban ain't even tell you. I don't want to play. Just let me sit there and just watch the other people play. But there's other spots, as y'all were saying, that needs to be addressed. And the thing about it is why keep paying these people all this money that they're getting? Because remember, we had to overpay on a lot of stuff. Some of them players are not living up to their contract. That's got to go, you know, and stuff. So, you know, that's the only thing that I say about it. Now, next year, like y'all say, you know, uh, uh, hopefully they will turn around and be able to do what we can. We all seen that they had it because I still said stand on the sixth seed if, if Stone would have did something. He didn't have to do nothing major. Two little bitty ones. Like, like look at Dallas. They got Gafford over there. Gafford is tearing it up. That's who I wanted. Yeah, yeah. I said JaVale McGee. That's who I wanted. We didn't do that. He, you know, he just don't do what he should do. And that's what pisses me off with him. But I'll give him to next year, you know, and stuff. If he don't do nothing by the start of next year, then I'll be the first one with a picket sign up there at Toyota Center saying, get rid of him because he's not doing what he should have did. If they would have gave up something and got Gafford as a backup center, we would have been continuing to roll on. But now that Landale's playing worth something, I'll shut up. So let me let y'all talk. For sure, for sure. (laughs) We got my boy in there, man. The GOAT, Frank Tank, 58. What's good, Frank? Hey, what's good, Space? Can you hear me? What's happening? Yeah, I can hear you, bro. Man, you back on track, huh? Five in a row, bro. You know, what we talking about, Frank? What we talking about? Man, this was a big game, dog. I put a lot on this game because you look at that schedule. Ah, man, if we can uh, can make it. I I, I selfishly want us to go undefeated. (laughs) (laughs) But I know this ain't real. 
But that the Warriors playing right now and Steph Curry's the hope because he somehow is healthy all of a sudden. What's the score? I think uh, I think Lakers up like six right now in the oh, okay. in the first and second quarter. But uh, you definitely know if they activate a Steph, they see us on their heels, bro. They know what's up. Mm-hmm. They know what's up. And so he playing yeah, 30, 36 in the second quarter just started. Um, if we can somehow sneak into this and the the words collapse, I think that'll be like such an amazing feat for this team. Um, on just like I don't know, you were talking about just Adoka and his ability to really use adversity to rise to the occasion. Um, I think that's really a kind of a good blueprint. You know, a lot of people, including me, complain about his offensive uh, uh, lackings, mm-hmm. um, and I still do. I think they leave a lot on the table on that end of the court, but. Um, one thing I've always said this season is that the hardest thing to build for a team is a defensive identity. And the Rockets being a top 10 defense this season on some like real top 10 defense type stuff is short of miraculous coming off of where we were coming from. So um, for him to build that as the identity, because offense to me is personnel based more than anything. Like you can get better players. Like I can get a better shooters than Tate. I can get a better backup than Londale get a backup point guard and you then you bring in the natural talent of the guys and some experience and you probably a top 15 offense but to be a top 10 defense with these young guys this team with Shangoon at center top 10 the whole season bro that's real bro and and then that's the expectation every season now and if you guys don't know in order to win a championship most teams in NBA history are top 10 in defense and offense and usually the hardest one is that defense so um, yeah. I, I think they they on the right track. This game was uh, definitely enjoyable to watch. Um, the you know they've been pushing pace since the All Star break. This probably was the first time, maybe the second time that it actually translated into efficiency because we've been going faster, but we've been not good at it. Um, but I think what they're doing is real. Obviously, we ha- you know there's going to be teams that are going to be. Uh, they remind me of the micro ball, micro small ball Rockets, where they switch everything. Um, that's a hard style to sustain for a long period of time uh, because your legs get tired of guarding one through five every single play. It's hard for the offense trying to score against that because a lot of guys can't break down uh, NBA defenses one on one. But um, to me, that's why they kind of fell off at the end of the uh, February and uh, January. Because basically we look like how we look when the year started. Like this is the yeah. team we saw when we were cooking. Like defense, one-on-one isolation, we clamping you, we hitting our threes. And to me, what that tells me, if this is happening post All-Star break, the January skid was fatigue. That's all it was, fatigue. And they got a second win. And we was good for about two months to start the year. You do that math, they can sneak into that plan, man. You know what I mean? Uh-oh, Frank, Frank back on board. Frank back on board. Well, I don't about to play, and I, 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 I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait, bro. Let me not get my hopes up. You know how this goes with Rocky, bro. We'll probably be like one game out, the last game, and some Warriors game to decide it, and some buzzer beater decide that we don't. That's the type of Rocky stuff we man, be having. Man, don't, uh, don't say that. <laughs> that would be a heartbreaker right there, man. You know, for real. Bro, life of a Rockets fan, bro. But, <laughs> but, you know, one thing I'm happy, though, the, like, you know, some people wanted a tank to end the season, right? Um, because of the, the pick. Like, you can't put a value on these games, bro. Like, uh, uh, I think Craig said it on the broadcast, or Ryan, one of them. They're, they're in the playoffs right now. Yeah. Mentally, the Rockets are in the playoffs right now. They understand that every single game could, a single game could eliminate them from the chance to, to advance in the postseason. So, to me, that, that they, these run of games, whether they make it or not, are so important for development, so important for character, for build, to really see what they're made of. Um, and, and, you know, I mean, I wish Tari, Shangun, and Cam were here to experience this. But honestly, it's it's almost ironic the guys that got hurt are the ones that we really aren't concerned about too much. And the guys that are uh, question marks as far as, like, can they figure it out? Jalen Jabari. Those are the guys that are getting pushed into the spotlight to like, hey, bro, you got to do something. Mm-hmm. And to me, that's a blessing, bro. Like, they get to experience this. So it, it's just some. there's so many things on the table as LeBron just got fouled on a three-pointer. Thank you, LeBron. Uh, uh, so many things on the table that, that all these games matter for them. 
um, that it's just good for them to really find a niche right now, find a groove there. And so, yeah, man, it's good times, bro. If we lose to Washington, bro, I'm, I'm going to pop a vest. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, man, we bet not. Oh, bro, if we lose to Washington, oh, my God, that'd be, oh, but yeah. Yeah, that that'll just be that'll be a heartbreak, bro. Not to Washington, not not how they look. If we just beat the Cleveland Cavaliers, a pretty solid team, and we back door lose to Washington, nah, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna be with you. I'm a <laughs> contemplate doing some bad things to some people. <laughs> we got uh, Kurt. What's up, Kurt? Hey, what's up? Um, glad to be here. Already. It's been such a long time since we've talked some basketball. So I just want to bring bring us back to like the previous few games we've missed, if you don't mind. Go ahead, Kurt. All right. Um. So the Kings game, right? Now, um, I I'm, I really don't want to bring Shingun into this conversation, but because because he's injured and we really don't want to talk about. You know injuries like that, but um, we really shouldn't have played Shingun in that fourth quarter. Like it was a, it was he, a he close was not game, in. wasn't it? Uh, but but Shingun was not playing well at all, and and Jock Landale was actually cooking that game, if you remember. So I would have played Landale the entire game, um, because Shingun was really not it. Um, he only got sixteen points, I believe. Um, he was like he scored the least on. Like this, um, among the starters, I believe. So you're um, saying that would yeah, have prevented so, him from getting hurt? Well, if we, yeah, if we benched him, yeah. But y'all can't yeah. live like that, bro. I know some people was mad at Fred for getting the turnover. <laughs> like, it's just that's basketball, bro. That's life. I mean, yeah, I, injuries are really not preventable. I'm just saying, like, we shouldn't have played him. But anyways, we move on from that, right? So, um. The Spurs game, man, it really made me so proud of uh, one particular guy, Jay Sean Tate. Oh, man. <laughs> Did we discuss man. this already? <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, Kurt. Did, did we I already, go sorry. I, 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 put, I put your stream on mute just now so because I was busy. <laughs> no, no. I'm talking I'm about um, that Spurs game. You remember when you came up? Yeah, that Spurs game, it? man. Jay Sean Tate, like, there were at least 10 highlight plays from Jay Sean Tate that game. A block... Um, on Wemby, like, uh, he drew a charge. He, he got like, um, five steals, I believe. Something like Preach. that. Three crazy. Sorry. No, nah, so you preaching. Don't give, don't yeah. get EF started, man. I know. I know. Um, but like there were two impact guys that game, two impact guys, um, Landio and Tate. That's it. That's it. Like Fred stay steady that game. But he's just doing his thing. Um, Landio and Tate like changed the uh, changed the entire pace of the game. You know, um, I mean, it, it was a close game throughout uh, all four quarters. But yeah, um, and the Wizards game as well, man. I'm proud of Jalen Green and what he has become. Um, I don't really remember what Tate did this game, unfortunately. But, he had a two uh, couple man, threes. Let, let me just... He had a three. Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, but Tate has been an impact player, especially this game. Look at this game, bro. He, like, hit, hit a three. Like, he he, he uh, bricked a three in the corner, got it back without any hesitation, made it. Man, that got me screaming on the couch. But, um, again, uh, the defensive plays this game really, uh, like, just... Uh, pushing the fast breaks, right? Um, I don't remember any like particular plays uh, right now, but I do think he had a couple steals this game as well. Who's um, that, Tate? Yeah, he's yeah, Tate. Yeah, he, he had a couple deflections, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, he was all right, bro. Like, you know I, mean? I notice how like he always checks in just to defend like the opponents. The po- like the opposing team's best player, and I think that's a great idea. Um, because he he's built for that, right? He he's built for tough tasks like that. You know how they're like tough shot makers in the league, and they're also like tough um tough player defenders out there. And th- that's him. That's what I'm trying to say. 
Um, but yeah, uh, I I thought Kai Jones was in this game for a while until I realized that's another Jones. Um, he played pretty well though. Um, then it seems wait, like wait 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 wait. Are you talking about on what team? Jones uh, on the, the Cavs. Uh, on the Cavs. Cavs. I'm talking about this oh, game. Oh, Damian. They got they got a few randos like uh, that played pretty well though. Um, seems like they got another Porter Jr. Hopefully this one's um, like does not have the attitude problem right in the locker rooms. It, it does seem like this Porter Jr. played pretty well too. Um, what uh, did he do? And I, I was very proud of him. Special. Sorry. What did he do? I don't remember him doing nothing really like special. Oh yeah, he checked in in the fourth. He was like running. He was running the. Um, he was running the offense mainly. Yeah. I just pay attention to all the players on the court. So that that's why I, you know, I notice what Jay Sean Tate does as well. What do you think about um, Sam Merrill, um, Kurt? I like oh, Sam. He, I mean, yeah, I, I love him. I um, love the spacing he provides for them. Mm -hmm. Like they were guarding him at half court. When he went around screens, there were guys chasing him. Like, yeah, yeah. 30 was, feet like, out. Bro got a silky yeah. shot, man. Yeah, lie. he do. And I, I've, I've heard like people um, say he's like the best shooter in the league right now. I don't know how much truth there is to that. Um, but uh, Donovan Mitchell was struggling, and I would give credit to Amon Thompson, um, just that length and that uh, uh, that instinctual defensive, you know, that wingspan as well, right? Just causing the turnover and making him look silly out there. Uh, but yeah, I think this game, what it really shows is the depth of the team. And I, I, I know we spoke about this already in previous streams, but um, I'm really impressed with how deep this team actually is. Like, uh, we have Jabari out here looking like KD, you know, uh, making those uh, turnaround uh, fadeaway jumpers. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Yeah, and uh, Ahmed Thompson, he's like the top four guard in defensive, uh, in the defensive percentile right now. Dude's gonna be special. His first year, he's always one of the best guard defenders in the league. Yeah, the dude, the dude is. And it's crazy how he's playing one for four, you know. Yeah, he had Donovan in hell, and he may call them on a. I forgot who wrote the article, but he may was quoted calling the best guard defend, the best. Perimeter defender in the NBA. That's wow. when we know Dunk it, bro. He may said that. That's crazy. And you know when he say it, it's probably true. Yeah. He, he don't give compliments out, and he a defensive coach. And it's he had Donovan of, Mitchell. Let's let's let's, let's let's explore that real quick. Let's, Frank. Um, who would you be? Competition, yeah, for that. Like you got Irv Jones. Nah, not Mikael, not this year, bro. They mailed it. I think Fred Van Vliet. Nah, he better than for Fred. Be getting picked on by bigger guards. Yeah, they they was picking on him early in this game. Yeah, he. It's it's a guy in L.A. that wore a blue blue and red jersey. That's pretty good. Who uh, Kawhi? Yeah. Kawhi take on that challenge like he when he turn it on, yeah. But he don't do that on the night end, like just True. a man ain't got nothing to lose. Ka Kawhi got to balance that out. Uh, but yes, you would put Kawhi up there. Paul George is pretty good. Herb Jones, a lot of wings. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say Anthony Edwards been showing his defensive prowess. Nah, he, he yeah, in like fourth quarter he turned up like when I mean, he got to. lately he's been he been, like, been clamping. Yeah, he been clamping, bro. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna front. Hey, Ant Man is like the um the player version of Jeff Van Gundy, man. Every game he going into the press conference complaining about the refs. Oh yeah, I don't watch his pit post game. I don't see it. Nah, I love that kid, man. I love that kid. And, and a yeah. dog, man. I'm telling dog, you, dog, man. That that to me, he's a throwback type of player. Like you could put him in the '90s, the early 2000s, and his style and aggression and everything would fit right in. Like, he's just a any any era star. But um, yeah, man. I mean, to me personally, I think a man is probably. I haven't seen uh, anybody just go off on him. Like, he's guarded damn near everybody that he's been assigned to and shut them down. 
Like it's crazy to watch. He's a better defender than his brother. I was, was just drafted about to ask for you that. Yeah, he better. He better. He a better perimeter defender than uh, Sawyer. I mean, he better than the Sawyer. Period. Now, let me not. Let me give Sawyer some credit. Yeah. The Pistons are trash. So it's really hard. It's like trying to assess people in the Silas era. How would a man have looked under Stephen Silas? So we got to give him that growth, that curve, that grading curve when we talk about uh, him and his twin. Um, so maybe Asar is just better defensively, but on that team, it's it's hard to tell. But I mean, that to me, that alone, what he brings, like that's such a rare skill set from a guy fresh out in the NBA. It's just crazy, bro. Like um, I don't think I've ever seen it. Like he makes defense exciting. Yeah, he just does so much, blocking jump, jump shots, steals, like the weak side shot blocking. He then he's rebounding, he pushing in pace. Ah oh, man, I ain't, I don't know, man. I, I'm I'm I, to me like I go back and forth. I said this um because I didn't even know you were doing a live stream, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I was on on Twitter, and then um, I said this. I think uh, Men Thompson, I got echo as a point guard, might be done, bro. I don't think he may see him as a point guard. They're using him as a wing, small forward. And the small forward, and I ain't I mean, gonna lie, point bro. forward, like type of yeah, point stop. forward, yeah. But you know, pe- people got this idea of him as Ben Simmons, LeBron, like he gonna be on the ball, making like breaking down. I don't think that's gonna be. That I don't. I'm not saying he can't do that. I don't know if that's where the team needs him to be right now. Scotty Pippen all day. That's what I'm saying, bro. Draymond, Scotty, like one of them type, all around utility, defense. I'm pushing the breaking transition, like. Roll, send screens that lob, bro. That man took that lob like he was Clint Capella, bro. Bro, the dude that got me catch, up out my seat. Bro, catch lobs like it ain't nothing, bro. He was, oh my, bro. I, oh man, that he jumped. I be thinking like sometimes he doesn't look that athletic, but then you see him. To me, the most athletic things he does is get rebounds. Like yeah. he jump higher oh, on yeah. his rebounds than his dunks. Like his head is damn near above the rim when he's gonna rebound. Oh, hey, damn, y'all, y'all, ever, y'all, y'all ever play Madden and then, you know, like when somebody trying to throw the ball, it looked like the defensive player just get real big like all glitched. of a sudden you intercept the ball. Yeah, it just glitch and magnetically. Yeah. <laughs> right, the ball just automatically go to him. That, that's Armin. He just get big all of a sudden, Paul. He just all of a sudden get real big and the ball just be wherever he at. Yeah, let me see what uh, my boy KP, man. It's been a minute. What's up, KP? Hey, hey real quick, uh, uh, real quick, Jockis Alexander. I never said we got the wrong Thompson. If I did, I was tweaking. But I've never, I've been team my man from summer league, bro. Y'all check the stats. All All right, right, I don't remember you saying that that part. I don't remember you saying that. What's up, KP? What's happening? What's what it do, What's bro? What's happening, CSGs? How y'all been, man? We Chilling, good. bro. Where you I'm been like, at, I'm man? You been waiting for us to win? Man. Look at y'all. See, let me let me screenshot this uh the room right now. <laughs> Cause me and Space be up here solo like come on, now, we lose. Now, this, now I, I I be catching every show. It's just that I just want to put to bed about the team is being is better without Shingo. Let me just take it in the day in the life of KP watching the Rockets. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. The day you 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 know how you know how. You having one of those good days. The day is beautiful. The sun is shining. You might get pulled over and get a ticket, or you get a car wreck, or you might get fired from your job. It's a beautiful day. That's how I felt about the Rockets watching that game. I'm like, man, the Rockets are starting to get it together. They are whooping butts, and then she ain't gonna get hurt. And I was like, that's how I felt. But the team is still moving along and it's a good thing to see i'm I'm just enjoying watching the rockets playing together as a team and you can tell that they that the practice is putting in work and it's working out for us so that's Wait, how i felt today shangun got hurt it was a oh okay day. i was about to say where's the negative but yeah go ahead say that again no i was confused because you said it was like getting a ticket well, go ahead, my bad. Well, you know, it's, well, you have that beautiful day and then you get a ticket or you have a beautiful day and your car get hit. You know, I don't know if y'all ever had that 
the day, you know, back in the day, you're hustling, you make a lot of money, and then all of a sudden, you got to pay a bill. Go Hell to yeah, that happened today. Yeah, I mean, that happened all the time. <laughs> Not a rock. rock is like Murphy Law, man. But that's like how it Murphy. was when I felt, you know. But yeah, that that game that Shingun got hurt, man. It, them boys were playing beautiful the whole game. It, it was just coming together as a team, and I'm glad that it didn't stop coming together, Paul. But you know, as a team, them boys still look like they're growing and showing out. Thanks. Yeah, I get what I got. I got, I got the analogy, KP. I got the analogy. <laughs> yeah, take a screenshot of all of us calling in, man. Yeah, I've been I've been wondering where Six C Charlie was. You know what I'm talking about? Cool. That's what I've been wondering. Charlie said he ain't been seeing me. <laughs> hey, boy, yeah, I ain't been my seeing name you, on that Charlie. Six C, y'all ain't about to. <laughs> he thought he was gonna get. We was gonna come at his neck for it. Nah. Yeah, but we looked good, fellas. We would have been six seed if he'd have made it two two little small moves with his ignorant butt. He the one that made us not be six seed. Everybody can see that we whooped Denver, we whooped Sacramento, we was whooping everybody's butt. Beat the Lakers by twenty something, and then he sit around and don't do nothing. That's why we ain't six seed. We'd have been in the playoffs if he'd have just made two little bitty moves. Two. That's all I wanted him to do, but he sit there and did nothing. But sit back and talk about a practice facility. What the heck you took it at that for? If you ain't winning. So that that's the way I felt about that. But I missed all of y'all too. When I didn't see a, a space there, I was like, man, you know, I like, I was listening to Frank. But, you know, Frank is not the one to have us all be able to talk or, you know, get a chance to talk. So I was like, man, I wish I miss us being able to talk. But this question is to you, Frank. Who is that guy that Jalen Green was talking crazy to that was saying he was playing like dog mess? Uh, G- Georges Nyang. Nah, 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 nah. He's he talking, he, about, he talking about Roosh. Roosh. Oh, Roosh. No, Niang, Niang. Oh, okay. I thought you was talking about the beef with Niang. You're talking about Roosh. Yeah, he, the, he my co-host on the uh, Rockets Talk podcast. Yeah, uh, like, I was listening to him. I was uh, listening to you guys, and I was like, see, now, the man didn't say nothing wrong. He was playing bad. It's the best way to do is do what he's doing right now. Do you want me to shut up? Then do something to shut me up. That's the thing that I would turn around and be saying about that. But he turned around and wanted to sit back and get mad and saying all this old crazy stuff. How many times have we seen him fly in, fly in there and lose the ball? Couldn't play him in, in the last few minutes of the game because he had turned the ball over. But now he got it together. Now I'm still a little worried because I want to see next year. That's all I'm saying about the whole thing. But I am hoping and praying that we can squeak into the play-in. But knowing the Lakers old crazy button and knowing how I hate them, they don't let Golden State win tonight. And I'm going to be mad. So, you know, that's what I'm saying about it. And uh, Shalice want to say something to Frank. Hold on. Hey, Frank. What's up, Shalice? Oh, yeah, phone just died. You can hear me? Get on mute. Oh, okay. God. All right. I think Charlie, yeah, ain't, Charlie ain't charged his phone. No, I said, I said earlier, I said, um, it's a such thing as referees, man. As long as it's a such thing as referees and referees exist, you got, got to assume the Lakers and the Warriors is going to be at least, you know, second round of the playoffs somewhere. It's, it's, it's you know, it, it don't it don't serve the NBA for the yeah. Warriors not to be Don't rain on our parade, yo. God, dog, bro. Nah, come but on. he cooking, but. I know he, he is, but dog, come on. <laughs> Space, did you see the uh, the report that the NBA had a meeting with the referees that said that um, they wanted to emphasize allowing player, defensive players to really have freedom with physicality? And I don't know if y'all noticed, we were real physical with the Cavs, and there were a lot of calls being let go. Y'all watch that for yep. the games around the league. There's been, like, a memo to the refs to, like, really kind of let the teams play to curve some of the offensive explosions. So... A lot of things fall in the way of the Rockets because that's right up our alley. Hey, yeah, you know no, something else I want to say about... Let me, let no, me get ahead, to Addison Augusta real quick. He, he's been waiting. And then just keep that thought. Keep that thought. Uh, Addison Augusta, what's good? What's going on, Space? What's happening, brother? 
Man, feeling good, feeling airy, feeling all kinds of good vibes, man. You know already, what I mean? Already, already. <laughs> <laughs> missing, some of, missing some of the streams lately, but you know what I mean? I've been trying to put some stuff together, but I know you've been missing some time too, so I know you, you're you working and grinding, but it's a pleasure to be back and see everybody back on the stream, giving the, the, the two cents and the ten cents, and I'm enjoying this, man. But it's nice to see the guys coming together in the absence of our best player, Alper and Shangun, man. It's just, even like Jacques Landel has is, is found a way to, to, to justify being on the team right now and slotting in Amen into the starting lineup was so genius. I didn't understand how it was going to work, but good God almighty, this thing is amazing watching those guys play to every ball to the last whistle. It feels really good. Even though we don't win all the rest of the games coming up, it just feels so good to see them trying so hard, man. It feels good as a fan. I don't care about the losing and winning. Yes, I do. Let me not say that. <laughs> but it just feels better watching them hustle to, unless the ref blew the whistle or we ain't get the ball or something, they're not stopping. Diving mm -hmm. on the floor, doing whatever it takes, man. Not not letting a bad uh, a, a shot not fall in, like, break their spirit and decide, well, shit, I ain't want to take that next shot. They shoot in the next shot of confidence. You know what I mean? And right. I love that, man. But I just wanted to share that piece with everybody, man, and just sit back and listen to the OGs. You know what I mean? <laughs> Appreciate that. That was a good looking out, man. Always good to hear my boys. Uh, you and uh, you and uh, Genius, man. Y'all sound so much alike, bro. And, uh, yeah, my Rastafarians. <laughs> yeah, you don't know, man. Dreadlocks all the way down to... Damn, they're my ankles right now. Dang, brother. You ever, you, you, not, you <laughs> never gonna cut them? Oh, hell no. Nah. That's my crown bedroom. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I walk around and let them know it's king walking around them in the midst. So I can't walk around and have no hair, man. Gotta let them know. <laughs> Rebel against the system. You know what I'm saying? That's oh, just really? me telling the system to go fuck off. You see? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. That's cool. <laughs> Appreciate that, hey, man. Frank, I like in your takes, man. You be doing some nice takes, and I follow your videos early in the morning when I wake up after meditation. I, I go in and I check your videos. You'll be breaking. I don't know how, how you be doing them things that quick after the game and breaking it down, but I appreciate you and whatever you're doing, keep doing it. It's a blessing to all of us, man. You Thank you, I mean? brother. That's motivation for me, and uh, it is not easy, bro. If y'all see a post, vi a post game video, that means I probably stayed up to like three in the morning. I can yeah. get that, man. Yeah. That's why before I even watch your videos, I like that motherfucker before I walk. Watch it because I'm a video Appreciate director. That, so I, I direct movies Appreciate and that. I understand what you're doing with editing and all what you have to do. To get Thank you, bro. I appreciate not, that. You're For doing a lot of work. Yeah, y'all yeah, don't understand, A lot of work. Man. I'll be yeah. on that Adobe Premiere of... going gonna work. It's not easy, bro. And that's Honestly, yes. the editing, the recording is easy. But when I got to get in there and top it up and put all the graphics and stuff up, that takes a lot of time, and I'm very, like, attention to detail with my stuff. Try to make it as I do that for a possible. living, so I know what you're doing, dog. You appreciate killing you, the game right now, dog. It's and time I appreciate to you. Me, Everybody else doing the time what you're doing. I do, and I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. Because thank you, bro. And, 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 and I'm going to say this about me and Space. We both have full-time jobs. I know and this, so, and, and that's why I'm so thankful. Full-time. This is not our job. I don't. We're not media people, so... I know some we like we might not have a video out like for every game. We got real life, you know. We got multiple children, wives, bills. So it's we just try to do it when we can, bro. But we appreciate all the support and we feel that. No matter how I, if I could ever yeah. handle it in any way, dog, some editing, do it, whatever. I'm down for whatever because I really appreciate what you're doing. I want you to continue this shit, man. It means a lot to a lot of us. Y'all probably don't know that, but. Every game, some of us, we go and look for y'all, and you're not there, and we're disappointed. So it's like, whatever we could do to help out the situation, to make sure after the game we could catch you, we'll do it, man. Just as the community, I guarantee you, every CSG going to stand up and be like, fuck it, we all we got. We got you. You know what I mean? That's big, appreciate bro. You. That's big, man. We, we appreciate that love, bro. We really do. Yeah, man. Just keep us I going. I wanted to say that for a while, man. Thank you, man. I, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart, man. Your, for, your brothers are working hard. I know you got wives and lives and, and kids. And it's like, how in the hell are you? But that's just showing the dedication. And I appreciate that. Thank you. Much love, bro. Much love. That that means a lot, though, Alistair. For real. That means a lot. For real. Yeah. Uh, who Don't we got? Shalice. What's up, Shalice? 
Hey, y'all. Long time. Yeah, man. I was taking chemistry, and I, you know what I'm saying? That that thing was whooping my family, okay? <laughs> but I passed that thing with a C, okay? A C Go is ahead. a B to me. You hey, know as long saying? as you pass it. Uh, you go. As long as you pass I wasn't getting no sleep, okay? <laughs> but I survived my first eight weeks of nursing school, okay? It's only up from Congrats. here, right? <laughs> yeah, so I've been busy, right? But, um, yeah, what Charlie was saying about Jalen Green, when I said I was upset, when I heard that he was talking smack to other people, I was mad. So I got so mad, I took him off my screensaver and I was just done. I was just like, oh, so that's what, you, that's what we're doing now. Because I don't like when people do that. Because now it makes me feel like if I'm a fan and I actually meet you and I say something to you that you don't like, you're going to say something back to me. Mm. That's nasty. Wait, so now so it you, makes me... Huh? You're, you're saying that about Jalen, you're talking about the roof situation? Just to yes. Say? Oh, okay. Because if this is a total stranger... And they're saying, but I mean, and like he was saying, like, I don't, I shouldn't mean anything to you. Like, <laughs> what do you want? Like, <laughs> I'm saying my piece, leave me alone, right? But then now you want to come for me. But then I just make me feel like as a fan, like, you can't take constructive criticism. And that's a problem. Like, I was, I was ready. I had told Charlie, I was like, well, if they trade him, I don't even care. Because I feel like that's like starting the the Harden error all over again. The, oh, I'm snooty, and everybody has to kiss my loins for me to be here. And that's not, like, we've already been through that already. Like, we don't need that again. Like, everybody got to bow down just because you're here. Like, that's not, that's not sustainable. You know what I mean? So, I was upset with him. Um, I know y'all heard something about him having a baby with one of those ladies, right? Y'all heard that? Yeah. No? Yeah, we, I mean, yeah, everybody knows about that. We try to stay away from the gossip aspect of the NBA. I actually, it came across on Google, and I, I, I didn't, it randomly Google, came man. up. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. But um, like uh, Charlie said, I do feel like he, uh, you know, he does this. He plays good at the end. And that's the only thing I'm just kind of like, where was this at the beginning of the season? But I don't know. Like, I did see, like, some article or something about them, like, some about their chemistry or something. Like, do y'all agree with that, that there was something wrong with their chemistry or something? Like, what do y'all what do y'all think about that? When you say chemistry, do you mean the team's chemistry as a whole? Yeah. Yeah, like the, key, like the team. Like, there, was there something deep? Do you guys feel like there was something going on that they weren't, like, playing their bet? Like, I don't... I think Lon, they alluded... Londe said they had a team meeting. I think it was just about their effort. I don't think... One thing I'll say is as much as the fan base beefs with each other about players and whatnot, the players are extremely close with each other. Like, all of them are really close. We, the locker room is really, really good. I think Ime sets the culture. Fred and Dylan are great vets. Uh, Jeff Green, all of them. So... I don't think I just think that they were not playing to their ability and they forgot who they were. And I think the all star break allowed them to kind of collect themselves uh, and kind of talk it out. Like when I when we first traded for Fred Van Vliet, one attribute I don't see anybody talk about over James Harden is that Fred Van Vliet is a champion. No facts. You know, what I mean, that's a champion, bro. And not a champion like he was at the end of the bench on some Jeff Green on Denver type champion. But he was guarding. He was Steph Curry's primary defender. So, right. to me, that that's so valuable for a locker room. When you're talking about bringing in culture, like that dude's a champ. You know the type of fights you got to be in to go through that battle to get to that point where you're holding up a Larry O'Brien trophy. So, um, I, I think that it just they just needed to straighten some things out. Um, and with your Jalen comment, I, I think it's a good thing we have other good players. A lot of teams have a Jalen Green type of guy that that's all, it's either that player or nothing. But we got Alperen Shangun who can counteract as far as talent. We got Amen Thompson. We got Jabari. We got Tari. Like, we have so many players. Cam Whitmore that he either, like, has to humble himself and play within himself or, like, another guy could potentially just take a spot. So I think for him, being forced into that, it, it's a good thing. And with the real I'm, – I'm not mad at him for talking back. Like, if you're a fan and you say something, yeah, bro, they might they might clap back at you. Um, my thing is that, like, like you said, why do you care about nobody's? Like, if it was like Stephen A. Smith, then yeah, but, you know, if you looking at Twitter and social media and trying to, like, engage with people, to me, like, bro, you're not playing good right now. Just focus on the basketball. And, like, Coach Adoka said it best.
Yo, 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 can, yo, 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 can y'all hear me? I don't know why the, the, the thing crashed. Yeah, it crashed, bro. I don't know what happened. Maybe I need to find a different platform. Restream. It's tripping. Is if we had the the full squad, maybe not Tari. If somehow Shangun could come back healthy, because I'm thinking the matchup that we have to face in that scenario would be Oklahoma City, possibly. And I think we can't beat them in a seven game series. I honestly do. I think one of the few because they play the same style we do, and they're better at it. I think with with just playing five out, they would beat us because they just have they're a better version of what we're doing because they can shoot at every position, they can drive draw fouls the one advantage we have against them is the advantages team are going to have against us which is when teams have big men that's why okc can't beat any like new orleans flooded them out in the playing last year um so i can see that bro like i ain't gonna lie there is a matchup out there that with coach adoka fred that's what i'm saying fred is a champ like uh you got to coach this coach in the finals like anything is possible honestly bro like if they get in Hey, hold on, everybody. Hold on, everybody. The, the stream had crashed. <laughs> I don't know if y'all knew. I don't know if y'all knew it or not, but the restream had crashed. But oh, it let me load. Just <laughs> it let me load y'all back up though. Um, can y'all hear? Here? Can y'all hear the the guest in the chat? Chat, can y'all hear us? Check, check Thanks, one, why don't you say nothing, bro? You had this over here having check a... one, no two. because my what's <laughs> name had had went blank. Like my whole like. It crashed and then my CPU went blank too. I was like, "What? Uh, what, what is okay. going on?" So, hey, shout out to the sixty-seven people who waited. They know what's up. This happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was that was weird. Couple. It never did that before. It never did. Damn, that y'all just missed some of the best discourse ever, bro. Man, yeah, we, it was only go, it was only off about two minutes, bro. It was only off about two minutes. But uh, we're in the, we in the thick of it now. We in, we in the real in the real deal. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. say say which. Yeah, uh, oh no, Spay, I think you had a super chat. Yeah, I got bro. a super I'm chat. Gonna I'm gonna say, uh, B Rex, uh, super chat. He says thanks for the show. You guys are legends, so I appreciate that, B Rex, man. Appreciate that. But uh, yeah, man, y'all can continue, bro. I don't know what happened right there, bro. Now, me, me and Frank was we was uh <clears throat> getting into some. If we make it into the playoff, I was just I was just uh peeking back and I what Shalice was saying about if we. If we happen to make it into the playoff, into the play-in, then the way that we're clicking right now, you know, it's some teams that's trying to get themselves situated to match up with certain teams. You know, they don't want to be playing Denver. They don't want to be playing, you know. Um, no, going Denver, no, that would be a Right, so those teams that's trying to, you know, take their foot off the brake right now, they can lose their rhythm, and we just getting into our stride. So where if we come into playoff hitting our stride for momentum, you know, we can knock off some of these teams. So I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if we make it into the play and we end up in the second round because that's how Sacramento really got, you know, as high as they well, did last year. Well, let know. me say this, yeah. though. Go ahead, Frank. You got to remember the play-in is a tournament itself. So if we made it, we'd be facing the, war, uh, the Lakers or the Warriors, depending on how it shake out because they both have the same amount of losses right now. Um, so let's say we face the Lakers. So you got to beat the Lakers on a one, one for all against LeBron, who, you know what I mean? <laughs> then if you beat him in a one for all, you're going to face the winner of Suns Mavericks. I'm just trying to paint a picture. So let's say the Suns beat the Mavericks. I think we could beat the Suns, right? One game. You beat the Suns, you'll be the eighth seed versus either Denver or OKC. Now, we don't want Denver. I think Oklahoma, if we had a chance to make it to the past the first round of the playoffs, the only path I see is OKC. Uh, no, nah, you know what's OKC. funny? We beat Denver multiple times in the regular season. If Alfie come back, I want Denver. I want you. Because I beat you. I beat you. Uh, I beat you. Uh, I beat you at multiple times. Wait, wait, and you were playing at your best. I beat you what multiple you think, times. Bro? You want Denver, bro? You want Jokic in the first round? I don't want no parts of Denver. I want no parts. I ain't gonna lie because we're gonna have to be in Denver in that high, uh, you know, Mile High Stadium too. Like, what four out of the seven games? And so y'all don't believe that we better. Y'all don't believe that we better than Denver. I think y'all don't the, believe as I far as like beating them. I think the the the, the regular season. 
is totally different from the playoffs because Denver could just hone in on us now. They don't have to worry about going I, I, and play the, you know, well, I don't mind Denver. Sacramento or nobody else the next night. Like, they're going to focus all in on us and our weaknesses. And hey, season of bets, Denver. man. <clears throat> Speaking of Denver, speaking but Denver you too, them. you gotta look at Denver. Not to cut you, I'm sorry, but Denver is not the same team though. All the people that they had when they won before, they didn't have. They don't have them the same people. They only have a few of the same people. They let some of the good people they shouldn't have let go. They got the core, yeah. I think. Yeah. Like they don't have Jeff Green stuff. anymore. They don't have who Jeff Green yet. Yeah, that'd probably be the difference maker. <laughs> no, there's somebody else. There's somebody else. There's somebody else that can trade away. Um, they don't have Lil uh, Brown. They don't have Brown. Brown. Yeah, Brown. But they still nah, a good team, bro. bro. We don't want. They're I don't like want eleven them. and one, bro. In the last twelve, they yeah. they haven't lost in like a month. So nah, I don't want them. Hey, right, but you know, Murray injury I, prone I, too. <laughs> but but I was I gonna say though because. Don't look at me short, but I want them because I, I live in Denver, man. That'd be beautiful for me to go to the games, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you ain't about to just enjoy his league. You're going to trade in your <laughs> comfort for a, a sweet or a poor one? <laughs> I gave you court side tickets, man. <laughs> hey, that, that was my, um, what I was saying was Space told me to hold my thought <clears throat> before when Sharice came on. I want to I wanna say this. I'm going to give my disclaimer. This is purely... Um, a hating statement I'm gonna make. You know what I mean? This is full hater mode. And I hope we get Denver if they, you know, if they listen to this um, statement that I'm gonna make. They can't let, they can't let Joker carry the ball every time he dribble, man. And that's just not fair. You already seven foot 100 and you 962 pounds. And every time you dribble down the court, you carry in the ball, man. That's just not fair. You know, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's, you know, because <clears throat> it's a reason why big men you know, wasn't dribbling all these years is because a lot of times their hands so big that if they even go a little bit to the side, their hand is underneath the ball. So when you got when you got your big man dribbling the ball and he's able to put, slide his hand on the side and get his pinky underneath the ball, that's technically carrying. And 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 they let Joker get away with that way too much for my likings. Yeah, you you you, you hating, bro? Because all of them do. It. I, I I am. They they I, all do it, man. I see guards be doing it, and you actually got to carry it and travel at the same time for them to actually call that. I, bro, I'm not gonna front. Probably the last ten years I seen a carry, probably ten times the whole <laughs> in the last ten years. They don't. They just don't call carrying. They don't call it. Yeah. Jalen Brown was actually he was actually dribbling the ball and putting his hand under the ball and letting it sit there for like 0.5 seconds. I mean, Ja do it game. all the time. Ja does it. Oh. He lives. He does it all the time. Tim Hardaway Jr. was about to have a mental conniption. He was actually screaming at the ref like, "That's a carry!" That's... He would dribble it, put his hand under the ball, point, 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 then dribble it, point, 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 and Tim Hardaway Jr. was, was actually losing his mind. But with that being said. We got a player with un, very mm. underrated dribbling skills. And when we talk about pace and speed and ball placement, y'all got really got to watch Dylan Brooks, what he do, man. Because I know he's known as care, a careless player that make boneheaded plays. But if you look at his ball placement when he's dribbling, that ball is always place it here, slow it down, adjust my body. Place it here, slow it down, adjust my body. He can get to wherever he want on the court because his ball placement on his dribble is immaculate. As long as he's going to the rim, he's cool. But once he try to do Elijah Warren fade away, back to – nah, that, that's – he looks trash doing it. But I, I understand yeah. what you're saying. But he his back downs, post-ups, fade away, Jays, he need to take that out. I don't like none of, of that. that. Yeah, he need to take that out of his repertoire. He, he, he don't need to be doing that. He really don't. But I would say this, uh, Frank. And whoever, but I kind of want to see because we 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 discussed this a lot in the uh, chat. Jalen, he's not just going straight beeline downhill no more. Like the last fifteen games, it's like he's starting to get that little hitch. He's starting to get that little uh uh uh, and and using his speed as a weapon, you know, and that herky jerkiness. That's how he 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 dropped old, old buddy from the Wizards the other day. Just uh uh uh. Behind the back, and it's like he's starting to set up these moves to where 
it's starting to look like it's coming. It's it's different. It's a little bit different than what we've been seeing from Jalen, especially. Did you I, like? I liked his. I liked his what so called shimmy when he hit when he hit the shoulders. Like yes. And oh like, yeah. yeah. I was like yes. I like that. This is okay. This is something a little different about Jalen. You, you, do you see that, Frank? It's yeah, okay. Definitely. It's it's okay. Uh, it's because it's real life happening. You know what I'm saying? Life is life. -ing. So I got yeah. I got to get stick with the getting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah I definitely see. I see. Um, it's, it's just a different change of pace in his like everything, bro. Like even how he attacks off the dribble. He's 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 pre, he's predetermining. Like he's not just out there just doing random stuff. That's because a lot of times that's what it looks like. Like he understands. And one thing we always complain about space, and you brought this up, I think Mike has brought it up. When he jumped, he used to jump so far out uh, when he got to the rim that by the time he got there, like, he had no power. Now you mm -hmm. notice he's jumping closer into the bodies of the defenders where he can hang, uses athleticism. So while they go down, he protects the ball and goes up. So it, it's just little things like that. Um, and then, to me, the, the shot selection is much better. The finishing is took a big leap. Um, you can just see like all the stuff that he could work on. I think right now his biggest issue in the game right now is just when to take shots and when not to take shots. You can see sometimes he gets outside of himself, but he'll reel it back in real quick. And I like that because to me, that's progress. There are players that are 10 years in the league that no matter what you do with them, they're still going to take the same bad shots. And those guys usually come off the bench. So playing within the flow of the offense, um, and with or without Shangun, because he was doing this when Shangun was was there. The thing I haven't seen is them playing off of each other a lot. That's what Ime needs to unlock this coming. Like they need to play off of each other, and not Jalen is great, Shangun is great. I need them to do that fusion dance. We're gonna steal from Dragon Ball Z, R.I.P. Akira Toriyama. They need to yeah. fuse their greatnesses together and punish the other team. Until they do that. The team is going to have a natural ceiling. You got to have, uh, once again, we've said this a million times, that two-man game, the big and the perimeter player. If it's him, then it has to work with Shangun. They got to link up together and like, here's how we're going to kill you all night. You got to pick one. And once you can make a team, have to make, okay, we got to pick one of these dudes to take away. Then everything falls off of that. The kickouts, the, everybody else feeds off of that two-man dynamic. And right. Fred and Al P is not what's going to get us where we need to go. It's either Jalen or somebody else, but that we need a dynamic guard because Fred can't do too much. So I love it. Like people trying to say, well, we better without that. To me, that's stupid. It's only been three games, first of all. Two of the teams have been uh, like one of the worst teams in the league. Uh, but even regardless of that, if Jalen drags this team off of his play to the playoffs, and we just saw the full year Shangun has. Every Rocket fan should be excited about this coming year. That's to me, that's exciting stuff. That's why I'm so I want them to make the play in so bad. Because it gives them just that much, okay, we got this guy. Now we saw what this guy could do. Let's put it together. That'll keep the core together. And to me, that raises our ceiling that much higher. Yeah. No, Frank, you're right. Um, is they, they saying that the stream is still chopping up every now oh, and Lord. then. Um I know it's a lot more we want to discuss, but I'm yeah, going to go ahead just, and end it yeah, before it just it crash on us for some uh, reason. Um, we don't we don't play tomorrow, do we? It's not a back-to-back, -back, is it? Nah, I think Wizards on... Uh, Monday. It's, it's not a back-to-back. -back. I think it's Monday. Or right, right, right. So, I'll be here barring any... Oh, we play on Tuesday. Okay, we play on Tuesday. So we got a little break, man. I'll be here, man. Don't you know? Don't get be frustrated with me, man. I, I, I ask Frank, man. Anytime I gotta miss, I'm be like, man, I miss the CSGs. I wanna, you know, I wanna be there for you because I know y'all be expecting me, and bro, and I'm just like, man, I'm sorry when I feel bad whenever I can't come on, bro. So I'm gonna be here. Um, you know, we're gonna God make six Charlie take over when you're not there, man. Six seed, you just gotta step up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, thanks for the super chat, Devin ninety five. He says y'all think we can go eleven and one over the stretch? Ooh, that's that's a hard ask. <laughs> that's a hard hard ask. But uh, 
I doubt eleven and one. Can we say eight and four maybe? And hopefully we get some help. You know, we get some help from the Warriors or the Lakers actually end up having a tougher schedule. I think they both got a little bit tougher schedule than we do. So it's not all our way out, bro. It's not all the way out. Hey, we we play we play Golden State April fourth, bro. That's gonna be a huge game. That's a that's a damn playoff game. When I talk about not even the pretend, like that's a real playoff game. Like April fourth, we play Golden State. I don't know what the records are going to be by that. Then we might damn near be tied with them at that point. Yeah. So that game, I'm I'm, I'm my like I, I'm waiting for that, bro. That's going to be a good game. It's in Golden State. I don't know. I'm not sure. I hope it's not. If it's not in Golden State, <laughs> I try to. I might try to make that game. I might try to make it. Depends on what day it is. I'm going to have to look at it. I'm going to have to look at it. If anybody in the chat uh, know, can y'all give me the date? I mean, the uh, actual day, like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, Jalen Johnson said I think it's at home. So, I'm, I'm gonna try. I might try to make that game. I might try to make that game. Because it's going to be hey. for the, all the marbles. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. No, I was just going to ask you, did you ever get that, uh, that link? Because I had to resend it to where anybody Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to look at it. I got to get it. I gotta get it. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, Frank, you'll send it back. Send it back to yeah, me. Yeah, I'll forward it. I think I saw it. It came in uh, yesterday or day. I'll send it to you. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate everybody for coming through, man. <clears throat> April fourth at home. All right. I mean, look. I look after this game, and I will let y'all know if I'm. I mean, after the stream, and I will let y'all know if I'm gonna be there. Oh, it's a Thursday. Mm. 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 I wish it was this Friday, but it's a Thursday. I might. I don't know. I'm. Let me know. Ugh. It's gonna be hard for me. But appreciate everybody for coming through, man. CSGs, CSGs. CMB, all we yeah, got. Good job, man. CMB, y'all know it. Man, we all we got. Appreciate everybody for coming through, man. If you haven't already, hit that like button. If you want to become a member, link is in the description. If you want the merch. Link is in the description, man. Y'all stay with us, man. I appreciate everybody' patience for coming through. Still supporting the Chop Shop, man. Hitting the links, watching Frank videos, coming through to the stream, man. Appreciate everybody that gifted. And uh, hey, man, we're gonna be here for you. Don't don't worry, man. If you don't see us, don't don't think we bailed out on you. Especially me. I, I'm speaking from personal experience. Don't think we bailed out on you, man. Can't leave my CSGs, man. So. Let's keep this we winning streak going, bro. That's we all we got, Addison. You know what I'm saying? We all we got, man. I can't I can't leave y'all hanging. But uh let's keep this winning streak going. Let's go for six in a row. Uh Tuesday, I'll be here. Let's see what we can do, man. Appreciate and I love everybody out there, man. Keep supporting us. Let's go, Houston Rockets. <laughs>